Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. A lot of people are interested in getting into more sustainable, self-sufficient ways of heating their homes. If the grid ever goes down, you don't have power, it's nice to be able to keep your house from freezing in the winter time. And one great way of doing that, at least in my opinion, is using a wood stove. Now if you use a wood stove, uh, one awesome source of fuel is scrap wood. Uh, you know, you can go and you can get uh, split lumber or you can cut down trees, but a lot of times lumber is just being thrown away uh, and frequently that stuff will have nails and screws in it. And I want to talk about today about an easy way of getting that stuff out, but first I want to talk about a couple of other things you need to be careful of if you're using scrap wood. And one is if you're using scrap wood that has paint on it, be careful that it's not lead-based paint because if you have lead-based paint and you're burning this stuff down, the ash that comes out of there is concentrating the lead. As you move that stuff around. If you've ever worked with ash before, you know it. the lightest bl breeze blows it everywhere and then you start inhaling lead. Obviously that's not a good idea. Uh, the other thing you want to be cautious about is not burning uh, pressure treated wood. Pressure treated wood is created by uh, impregnating wood with uh, chemicals that are toxic to life and when you burn it down those chemicals are concentrated in the ash and again you don't want to be breathing that stuff in. So watch out for those two things but in terms of burning stuff that has nails, screws, staples, any of that kind of stuff in it just go right ahead because there's an easy way of removing that stuff and my boy back here is doing it right now. You just take a magnet, a pretty strong magnet and run it through all the ash that you have just kind of lightly fluffing it around and you'll find it's really easy. All the metal sticks to the magnet and you can separate that stuff out and the reason you might want to get the metal out of your ashes because the ash itself is not a throwaway waste product. Now you've burned the wood, you've gotten the heat energy for that, and you might think that the ash left over is just throwaway, it's junk, you know, not, no value to that anymore, but that's not true. Uh, the uh, ash is actually a really helpful amendment for adding to garden soil. Now you don't want to be adding it to compost if you're doing composting. The ash uh, can actually be kind of counterproductive to that process, but once you have an established garden, you can uh, sprinkle it right across your garden and it's going to be adding some additional nutrients to your garden soil. So if you get into wood burning, stay away from lead-based paint stuff, stay away from pressure-treated wood, but throw that stuff with screws and nails and whatever right in, and as long as you pull them out before you put them in your garden, because who wants to be digging for carrots and you get a screw in your finger, uh, you're going to be totally fine and you're going to be reusing that resource over and over again and getting the maximum benefit out of it. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode is brought to you in part by Burning Hearth Homestead, a nonprofit that aims to provide seeds, live plants, and education to the community both local and extended. Plant seeds, plant knowledge, plant the future. If you'd like to thank them for supporting this channel or find out more about what they do, go to burninghearthhomestead.org. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.